welcome to India's show, episode number 316. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Lucky Knight. Hello there. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. It's, uh, it's, it's great to be back. I uh, love the MBS show. Long live the MBS show. Long live Norman Sanzo. And, um, it's, you know, it's really nice to be a guest. It's, um, I, I take great pleasure in being on the program. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice having someone else do the work. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's great. It's like, it's nice, like, ah, so yeah. Yeah, I just sit down and somebody else records it's great it. To be here. <laughs> and you know, it's and I'm you know, and, and it is nice to be starting to work on a, on a fresh project, which is um, the, not sure if anyone's heard of it. It's still, yeah. I mean, we have sort of tried it out at um, um, horses at home con, and it it it. Oh, well, in my opinion, it was it, it was a hit. Um, yeah. And we're going to see if it's uh, going to turn into a um, a regular series. So, well, yeah. So, well, we'll get to that later, Norman. Oh, true that, true that, true that. So, anywho, uh, let's get into the news. And you know what? Last week, we mentioned something about um, McDonald's in Russia and Korea having their cute uh, figures. So, uh, somebody on the... Uh, sorry, um, EQD just posted up some high def pictures or big pictures for the toys and yeah they look cute they they look cute <laughs> they are so cute like oh my god oh and that spike oh my goodness if there's a balloon head oh that's oh, so adorable the, the, the eyes uh, are a bit creepy gosh. though the, the eyes are a bit creepy <laughs> though i'm sure spike- it's like i i'm cute but I'm going to eat your soul. It's got that everything going for it. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out which one is my favorite if I had to pick one. Um, uh, I think that Twilight's pretty cute, actually. Uh, that probably be the first time I may choose Twilight. <laughs> although, uh, although RD, or, or is it Waifu? So, uh, my Waifu at Fluttershy, you know? <laughs> so, I know, I know all the Waifus belong to Norman Sun, hey. so I'm aware of this. But I wish I could only have one. Uh, but rules are rules. Rules yeah. are rules. Yeah. But um, they are absolutely adorable, and hopefully we get to see them um, in um, in other countries. True, like Australia and Malaysia someday. Yeah, I know. It would be super. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not sure. Are they? Uh, it looks like the Starlight like Glimmer one is articulated. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Like the front hoof can move, and if you look at Twilight, yeah. her horn does quote unquote light up. Yeah. And everything looks better lit up. Yeah, and I think Rainbow Dash has her wings flap. Oh, sweet. Oh, and I see. And what's got Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy going? They have combs. And yeah, I uh, guess a- AJ. Yeah, it's like I see. there's only, what, eight of them? So four yeah. of them are articulated while the other four are not, but they're brushables. So that's yeah. cool. And Spike is just spike yeah yeah but that's all, but that's always the case isn't it norman <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah i mean that's true spike is spike um and talking about cute things right i uh, remember way back when in the new york toy fair where uh, they were showing off some cute little chibi ponies with equestrian girl figures I, I think they're calling it the cutie mark crew or something like that i can't really remember but oh my gosh uh by the way, if you're listening, and make sure you tune into those show notes because you're going to see them. Yeah. You thought the McDonald's toys were adorable? Oh my god, they're adorable! Uh, this like, one, I don't know. This one are are official. This one official by Hasbro, mm. uh, and well, like I mentioned before, they were previewed in the New York Toy Fair, and now we get to see them in person. Well, not really in person. They just have a video on the Hasbro YouTube page and. We just get to see them advertising a six-second video. Yeah, so yay. Mm. And what I really love about the Hasbro YouTube channel, they put all their commercials up on it. Um, it's something I sort of adopted as well for, you know, in my in, in my professional life that um, I like to think that people actively seek out, oh, what was a commercial on the TV for their toy? I don't remember. But it was Hasbro. And you can find all of them there. And um, I think that's great. Uh, here's the thing about commercials in the state, if I do remember right. I could be wrong on this one, but mm. if I do remember right, uh, you are not allowed to show a 
toy commercial for the show that you're watching. It's like how do I put this? Um, we're watching ponies, so they could mm-hmm. not be any pony toys during your twenty or so thirty minute uh, show period. So your what uh fifteen minutes of commercial time cannot have any ponies in it. I think that's something to do with the FCC regulation. So if you do notice, sometimes you do see toys of like let's just say um. Cabbage Patch Kids or Strawberry Shortcakes and so on. Oh, I had no idea. I did not know that. Yeah. It's something to do with promoting the things that, you know, it's kind mm. of silly and I, I don't really 100% sure of it, but that's what I heard from people mm. who do know about this. So, yeah. That's a very important point. And, I mean, technically, <laughs> technically the show... <laughs> It is an advertisement for, yeah. for pony toys. So, I mean, that's, um, I just wonder if Hasbro could get away with advertising Transformers on a My Little Pony show. Oh, they can. They can. Because, the uh, because there's nothing to do or there's nothing related with mm-hmm. ponies. So you can do that. Okay, sweet. And with, sweet. and like you mentioned before, uh, Hasbro putting up commercials on their YouTube page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's their YouTube page. They can do anything they want. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Until YouTube's empire <laughs> does something to them. Yeah. Oh, and, and talking <laughs> about commercials, right? I recently saw this <clears> one amazing commercial. Uh, it involves Manchester United and Deadpool. Somehow, Deadpool <laughs> is promoting his movie uh, at the Manchester United Stadium, I think Old Trafford. And it's just crazy. <laughs> Oh man, I know what Norman's talking about. He's uh, I literally just found out about it today, and it's like, what? Oh my god! It's like it kind of reminds me of the um, um, I, I saw an interview with uh, Ryan Reynolds, and um, apparently they came up overnight all like about the you know crazy ways to promote the first Deadpool movie, and it was a big um, um, you know outdoor banner, um, uh, you know this really big you know you see off the highway kind of thing, mm-hmm. and they said. How about you know we do uh, like emojis? Oh, so no they did like, yeah, the dead face, the word, the symbol for poo, and L. <laughs> and you know what? Um, they, the, I don't know who's in charge of marketing at the time for Fox, <laughs> but they did it. Oh yeah, and, and you know what? Uh, not only that. Um, over here in Malaysia, we recently had our um, general election. I think it's our fourteen mm. general election, if I remember right, and. Mm. Fox did the advertising for Deadpool and it says vote for Deadpool in here this um, May 17. It's like mm, I know <laughs> who I'm going to vote for. <laughs> oh man, I was voting for Deadpool. Oh my goodness. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Oh man. Oh the, uh, bless you Deadpool. Bless you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, we're, we're getting off track but the only reason why we're talking about Deadpool is because spoilers Deadpool dropped a pony reference in Deadpool 2. Among many others. Oh my goodness. I, 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 you think there was enough that I mentioned a pony reference, but there are so many references crammed into that movie. It's unfreaking believable. Um, if, if you haven't seen the new Deadpool movie, you must see it. You must see it. If it's, if it's not for, if it's not for Deadpool, but the memes, oh, the delicious memes, Norman. But yes, it was indeed a, a beautiful surprise when I when I watched it. Uh, it's like, and the way it came out was just hilarious. Oh yeah, I mean, Deadpool two is just awesome. I mean, before the movie even came out, um, Fox commissioned Celine Dion to create a song for the movie. I did not know this. <laughs> oh, they, what? They, yeah, uh, there's a music video and all. And Celine Dion sang the soundtrack, or at least one of the song for the movie, and it's like, wow, um, okay, this is amazing. Deadpool two, guys, go watch it. It's really fun. And I've heard people say that it's better than the first. Um, I think I need to go see it again before I can make that call. But it's like, ah, oh, and if you think that you've seen um most of the movie in your trailer. You are completely wrong. And let's say wrong, stuff goes very wrong very quickly. And it's all true to Deadpool. So, um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't seen it, you must see it. 
and and then yeah, and then and then talk about it and and more and yeah. <laughs> Go see the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh so putting that pull aside, uh let's <laughs> head back to ponies because ponies is what we do or talk about. Oh, oh, oh right, oh right, of course. The the ponies, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I'm guessing you already seen the um forgotten um memories or whatever it is, the Equestruggle special that recently released. Yes, yes, Norman, indeed. And uh I don't know, it's one of those specials when you watch it once and it's like, oh, it's not like Deadpool when, or Avengers when you want to watch it again. But um, but uh, there's definitely some musical numbers that uh, that stand out in that thing and not, and maybe one in particular that got interrupted by, you know, by, well, human human best pony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, I, I'm just trying to remember the special. What was it called? The Equestria Girls... Hey, what was it again? What was it again? Wow. Forgotten Friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgotten Friendship. Available oh, on YouTube. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's right. Oh, maybe that's why we forgot, Norman. We oh, had yeah. the word forgotten, so uh, we naturally forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but but anywho, but anywho. Um, there's a musical number in the special sung by Wallflower Bush. And it was cut short by Sunset Shimmer because fighting and whatnot. And we, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember hearing one of the directors, I think the director mentioned something about it having a full length song instead of being cut. And it, con- oh, so they're gonna, so they're gonna flesh it out, are they? Yeah. That's, and, that's pretty cool. And the Spanish dub for Warflower Bush mentioned that the song has a extended version. And somehow it's going to be out soonish. So we got no idea how valid is this. And I did check the uh, YouTube comments for said um, comment, but I couldn't find it because it was in a foreign language that I don't understand. Mm. You know what would be really cool? What? They actually release a, a release a music video for the song with Wallflower as well. I mean, um, a Sunset Shimmer got one for, um, oh gosh. Oh gosh, My I should know this. That yeah, thank you. Oh, saved by the Norman. Thank you, Norman. I like this song. Yeah, this sounds so, awesome. <laughs> absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it, it would be cool if they would do maybe give Wallflower that Wallflower that love. The mm-hmm. question is, is she big enough to get that to have that love? Does she deserve that love, Norman? Yeah, I, I, I think so because in the EQD comments, I do see a lot of people in support for the Wallflower. Some say best waifu. Some say she looks really cute in that art. So yeah, there, there's a lot of support for uh, Wallflower. So yay. So I reckon, Norman, listeners, everyone else in, in Ponyland across the verse, make it so, make it known. Give Wallflower all the love she needs so we can get more animations out of Senpai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And also at the same time, too. And extended music. Mm, true, true. And at the same time, too. Uh, why not release a, what you call this... Uh, soundtrack, a soundtrack. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, MLP songs that were not released yet, especially in the Equestria Go oh, line. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So why not? Right? That would be that would be so nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I think the soundtracks yeah. I still have are seasons one and two, and that's all I have. Well, I, I have <laughs> all of the Pony soundtracks. I'm just waiting for more. Like I'm a glutton for punishment. I I need more. <sighs> oh, more. But you know what? what? Speaking, uh, speaking of more, um, more content, we might be headed for a bit of a hiccup, Norman. Oh no! And what's the that? mid-season hiatus? Oh, no! no. So yeah, oh, that's a thing. Like I'm not surprised, but it seems that the mid-season hiatus will be coming on June 9th with the thirteenth episode. So yay! Since it's a what twenty-six episode. Uh, having it on the 13th is a halfway point. So I, I'm cool with this. Personally, I'm cool with this. Yeah, same. I mean, you know, it, I, I can't imagine how long it takes to animate, to animate these episodes. And, um, um, and yeah, so and, and it fully totally gives, I, for me, so I prefer quality over quantity. I mean, of course, we always get, you know, 26 or 24 episodes a season. True. Um, true. but yeah. 
got so got so much respect for the whole staff to you know to when they put out these episodes and and so yeah, I mean, look, it's half time. But those and you know what, people are thinking you might be thinking, audience, what's the half time show? And I was like, oh, no one, I. It, I'm sure there's some kind of worldwide community that's constantly pumping content around the year. I just can't put my, quite put my hoof on it. Hmm. Uh, I think it's such a B, brainy, brawny. No, well, brawny. That's, that's one of the YouTubers, of course. Mm-hmm. Go to check out his channel. Really nice guy. And, um, oh, I just can't put my finger on it. But Is apparently it- there's music and songs and fan made art and everything that's pumped out all year round, regardless. And I know there's a regular weekly show that also does a, a, a supplement review show. It's, oh my goodness, it's called the MBS Show, Norman. I think you know it. Yeah, I, I, I heard of that one. It's called the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. <laughs> Available on iTunes and City Radio. It features like that guy named Norman Senzo and also Silver Quill and Sapphire Heart Songs. They, they, they talk about pony episodes. Um, comics and also movies that's what i hear all the time so i'm not 100 sure yeah and i and rumor has it there's some kind of website which you can actually give the give the creator like money to help them make more stuff oh i can't put my finger on it. i think it's such a p norman <laughs> oh man that doesn't exist oh, it's called... man. That doesn't exist. <laughs> giving people money that that's oh it's crazy it must be called pony on or something uh, like that uh, are you sure it's not <laughs> patreon it sounds like patreon I think, you know what? I think that's it, Norman. That's right. So, yeah. yeah but... Every little bit that each month can go a long way. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I also remember this one show I was on a while back. It was called the Brony... Um, Brony Hotel? Or was it? No, no. That's not Hotel. Brony Hotel? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not... Some kind of dwelling? Yeah. It could oh, be the... I can't Bro- put my finger on it. Brony Hostel? No, Bro- no. Brony Hostel, something like that. I'm sure, you know what? I'm sure we're going to get to it in the, in, the, in what's happening in the week, I guess, but we'll see what it comes to. That. Yeah, it yeah. will come back to us, Norman. It will come back. Yeah. These mysterious, uh, these mysterious shows that we just can't quite put our finger, <laughs> our fingers, our hooves on. We are terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> getting back on track, um, the mid season hiatus is confirmed and it's, well, let's just say this. Guys, don't worry. The show will come back soonish, maybe about what a month, two, or probably three. But within that time span, you get a lot of things to do. Um, play video games, look at other shows. I seen one that is coming next year called Thunder Cats Roar. <gasps> oh my god! Are they remaking fun? I hope they do a good job because uh, I am not. A, I'm not a fan of the Voltrons. A universe uh, defender one. I think uh, I just can't stand the characters on that show. Oh wow! Um, if that's the case, right? Um, you're gonna enjoy Voltron more than what they're gonna do with Thundercats. Oh gosh! Oh boy! Yep. Because that, because that, that princess, like, so there, are, you know, there are a couple of episodes where you love her, but most of the time she's like the most annoying <laughs> person on the I, I, in the I, whole universe. I like Voltron. I like Voltron because Voltron is kind of mm. okay, and the way that the uh, mm. Make the show is pretty okay, but Thundercats, yeesh! It's not fair for me to judge it without seeing in an episode of mm. it. But you can tell that uh, you know what I'm. Not, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna fully judge it. I, I'm gonna go in clean because mm. if I were to watch uh, Be Cool Scooby Doo, I would probably say the same thing. But you know what? I do like Be Cool Scooby Doo. So, uh, mm. so you know what? I'm just gonna. Wait until it comes out and I'll see it for myself. Mm. Let's hope it has a kick-ass theme song, though. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> if only. Well, you know what? Um, lucky, I'm, after this, I'm just going to show you what I saw and you can be the judge for yourself. Like, mm. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So anyway. Um, Should I be afraid? <laughs> I'm not sure, man. So anyway, uh, let's head to the last news on the uh, list and last news is ay ay ay. Um, way back when I mentioned that season eight is the worst for spoilers, and my statement there is still true. But it seems that Finland wants to add into the list by releasing three early episodes, and that's episode ten. 11, wait, that's not three. It's fourteen. 
four, no, four, sorry, four episodes by releasing episode 10, 11, 12, and 13. And we thought Canada was bad. That was last <laughs> year. Uh, that was last year. This, this year they're good. This year they're good because they uh, pedaled back on releasing future episodes, so they're not doing that. Now it's Finland's turn. But here's the caveat. Um, the episodes are in Finnish. I've seen a little of it, and I say, Nyet, we don't want, because we don't understand. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, but that must be a little bit funny. It's like, oh, it's almost like, it, I. Um, it, it's always interesting hearing uh, shows in different languages. Like, um, if you listen to, like, a, you know, the dubbing of, like, Galaxy Quest in German, it's <laughs> it's it can be the most hilarious thing, and... Um, <laughs> Like my mom talked about, like when she was growing up, that um, this is a, it was nothing more hilarious than a Western, but everyone's speaking German. So you think like an American Western, and the Indians are speaking German. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, uh, growing up here in Malaysia, we yeah. sometimes get cartoons dubbed in our local language, which is um, Malay. Mm. So mm -hmm. I remember growing up and watching a show called Doraemon. Have you heard of that one before? I, uh, it rings a bell. Maybe if I show a picture not... to you, you kind of remember it. It's kind of popular. Give us a second. Okay. So any uh, Doraemon, Do Doraemon. Um, you know what? Uh, it's one of those things where it depends on which country you say. But uh, Doraemon here is a um, robot cat from the future who comes to the past to help a kid named Nobita, and you know just help him with his daily life. The show is actually a size of life show with some comedy in it and a bit of action and you know what it's just all fun and there you go link is there have you seen this character before i feel like i have or something like it looks funny yeah it's a fun show it's a, it's a fun show but anyway um growing up i've seen the character sorry i growing up i seen the show in malay and you know I've grown up with it for so long that in my mind, he sounds the way he sounds. And suddenly watching it in the original language, which is Japanese, it's kind of, mm. oh, wow, uh, he sounds so different. Like, oh, wow. And there's also a time when I was in a place where entertainment is scarce. So my parents bought me VHS copies of Doraemon and it's dubbed in English. And that was a experience too. I was a kid. I didn't really know anything much, but still, it was still entertaining. Uh, we're all kids, Norman. Why, would we, if we're adults, <laughs> why would we be watching a show about about, about multicolored miniature horses? <laughs> mm, true that. True that. Uh, but still, but still, it's just one of those things where uh, it will be interesting. In it's it's interesting watching a show in a foreign language. Lucky, have you seen any shows that is not in? It's local language. Like I find it hard for you because since English is kind of Australia's main language, so mm. the only thing I can really relate to that is watching like sh um, like anime that has been um, re-recorded in English. Um, it, it's it, it, what changes when, like, for example, you know you're watching it in the in and then you watch it again in native language. There's so much stuff that's lost in translation. Like a lot of like. The, the emotion of, of what's being said. Sometimes it's not what's being said, but how it's being said kind of thing. And then you sort of get that meaning. Like sometimes you'll watch a cartoon and um, I, and I, I, I can't break my head for an example, but then you watch the original and the cute character that you thought speak, you know, it's like it had this cute kind of voice and you listen to the, to the original version and then they sound also really aggressive for some reason. Mm. Whoa, take a chill pill. <laughs> um, it does, it, it does happen. And, um, you know, sometimes it works better um, across the across the waters, but sometimes the original is the best article. So, um, but if you watch like um, Spirit Away or you know like um, um, Hio Miyazaki stuff, um, sometimes it's better to watch it in the native language. Although the the English conversion is not too bad. So, um, I think uh, if if a dub is done right, they'll really do their homework and really get to the nuts and bolts of the original. I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but not not every pony does that. But um, but um, the ones that do it well do stick out. True that, true that. I I do agree with you on that one because there's a few things that come to mind like Dragon Ball, 
the English dub some I'm not 100% sure uh, the English dub does mm. do a good job and mm. maybe Cowboy Bebop because I do remember people saying that <gasps> the English dub is much better than the Japanese dub because the creator aimed it that way or wrote it for uh, wrote it in, for English in mind oh really I think the only version I've heard has been the um the English version um, and it just seems to re- it seems to really work. So, I mean, I didn't know that that the original um, creator had that in mind for a Western audience. Um, but that's just that's just super. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I heard because adding to the team for the show because it's kind of a Western with how things are. It makes sense, and also Trigun. Mm-hmm. Trigun was also aimed for an English audience or an English dub. That's what I heard i'm not 100 sure but anywho mm. uh that's the news for this week uh thank you finland for releasing four new episodes in advance yes so well you know i'm sure we'll see them at the finish line <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that was bad <laughs> <laughs> i'll be here all week thank you very much Still, we'll be proud but anywho let's head into the next topic and next topic is what have we been doing with our week so Lucky, what have you been doing, man? Oh, well, sort of segueing is like, oh, I did end up seeing Deadpool 2 mm-hmm. on Friday night. Absolutely loved it. Have to see it again. I was laughing so hard. I'm sure I annoyed a couple of people, probably more than a couple in the theater. Uh, no, man. No, man. <laughs> and it's, it, <laughs> um, but you know, that's just how I roll. This is Bernie and proud and all that. And um, of course, yeah, almost lost my, you know, Lost, um, lost my cutie mark with the, you know, with the whole Pinkie Pie reveal <laughs> and gosh, and all the references combined. Oh, um, yeah. yep, yep. um, saw my personal trainer twice, uh, twice in the week. And it looks like I am the lowest weight I've been for the last many, many weeks. So that's cool. Oh. So, um, I think, um, I'm now 98.5 and I'm, and I'm still adding muscle and all, you know, all those places. So nice. I'm on a weight training, weight training program now. We've modified it, so I'm you know using the free weights and stuff like that. So yeah, so ugh, <laughs> this this Brony's Brony buff, and so yeah, so um, but it's really about keeping fit and just um, wanting to be healthy for you know for the future. I think that's what it's really about. So, but if I get to you know look ripped and down the track, perfect. <laughs> but I'm not one of those you know gym junkies. It's like you know goes to the gym all the time. You know for that short term kind of health thing, and then you know and then you just binge on junk food, just... and then you just end up where it started. So, um, it's all about sustainable health, sustainable fitness. So I'm not in a rush, you know, to be you know this you know chiseled physique of a, of a, you know, a brony god. Mm. No, but that, that may happen one day. Um, what else? Um, also kickstarted, um, uh, the fury component of, um, of road crash rescue. Cause I'm in the emergency services in, um, of, as a volunteer. So, um, I've, I, it has been a long time coming where I was sort of arming about it cause it's a scary thing to kind of get into. But, um, uh, someone told me it was okay to be afraid. So, oh, then I was no longer afraid of being afraid. So, okay, that's cool. so. And then I went to a conference, and then it put an, one more bit of doubt. It's like, but do I really want to do it? And I think I do. So I'm doing it. So yeah. Um, and I guess the other couple of things I ended up catching up on um, on Netflix on a couple of shows, um, which is um, uh, BoJack Horseman. Oh, that's a good show, um, I, right? I know, right? Like. So I've, I've watched the whole thing and now, I, ah, gosh, I have to wait till season five comes out and that's in September. But the way that season four, it's like, I don't want to spoil it for, for any pony that hasn't seen it yet. Um, it, it is, it is 18 plus. So you, you know, but even though it's like this, you know, it's like, you know, full on sort of furry territory combination thing. Um, it, it has somehow real grounded stuff that you can relate to. So, um, so yeah, if you're, you know, if you're of age, um, or, you know, you're able to hack your parents' Netflix <laughs> account, um, we do not encourage that at the MBS show, but you know, what you do is your business, mm. um, give it a watch. Um, also, and, um, you know, we're talking about what to do, you know, in the hiatus and for what have you, um, also caught up in Steven universe. Oh, cool. And, oh my gosh, like 
Um, um, no spoilers, but I've finished uh, season five, and man, it ends on a bombshell. Oh, oh my goodness. No, so you're talking like, about the reveal, right? The, the reveal? Oh my god, the, the, the reveal. So, it, there's... It, if you think you've been a long, long time Steven Universe viewer and you think you had things figured out, oh my god! And then they hit you with this whammo Steven oh, Universe I, blast. I kind of, uh, I kind of guessed it, but I wasn't hundred percent sure that my prediction or guess was right. But damn, I didn't see that coming. Like, whoa! Oh my, whoa! Like I was like. What? I, I think I'm as a sport. It's like, what? Are you I, What? Oh my god! Oh. Like, oh my god! Um, so, I mean, everyone is at different stages watching shows. I, 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 I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it, but oh my gosh. And Norman is right with me on this one. That it's like, whoa! Like, Holy cow! Like you think you've known the whole thing, and then they throw this in the mix. I know, I know. So, so you know, we'll. I hopefully there's going to be a season six, but it's like, oh, there is going to be a season whoa. six. Whoa! Oh, thank goodness for that, because they 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 can't leave us hanging on that bombshell, Norman. Oh. It, it just wouldn't be fair. It's, it's just too much, Norman. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's like I'm uh, like, oh my gosh! It's like we're gonna have, we're gonna need a lot of cake to get take it to get us through it, you know. Uh, um. So yeah, and um, what else? Um. Oh, and you know, and it was struggling to find the names of particular programs we're on or something. Um. I am currently editing the first episode of the you, Brony House. You mean second, so I right? did. I did technically second if we include uh, the yes. um horses at home con version. So um. <laughs> I'm no stranger to um, mixing up numbers and stuff like that. So, um, so technically, it's um, going to be our pilot, mm. um, I guess, for the series. And once I've got it out, we'll um, we'll see how um, how bronies react. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no pun intended, of course. So, um, so yeah, and oh gosh, and don't get me. St- and of course, uh, the other thing was trying to find the episode over the weekend because I was a couple of days late. And it seemed like it was nowhere, and I could only, and I managed to find it on this, you know, crappy version on an Arabian website of all places. And so I, I did get, my, I did get my pony fixed, but the price was, uh, you know. But I, I did manage to see most of the episode, uh, episode, no episode, but episode. My goodness, what would that be? So, gee, that sounds like a sharp, uh, sharp way of uh, animating. But there you go. So, so yeah, I could, yeah, I guess. It's, yeah, fair few things, and then I guess this weekend I was um um also I attended my first footy match um uh, AF for those playing at home um AFL Aussie Rules at um at a stadium that had been twice to but not for football reasons so and it was great to soak up that atmosphere and um and then just um and then hanging with family so yeah it's um. If you ask me what I was looking forward to most was actually spending time with family and um you know it's yeah it's it's what puts really that smile on my dial so um back to you Norman all right thank you man thank you and family is important like the NBA show do put importance in family because without them we we couldn't be here where we are so, and so to steal and Norman true true <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my things I see god dang it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Norman, what do you get up? <laughs> uh, well, uh, as for me, uh, let's see. I'm I'm trying to remember a few things. Uh, I did too watch that pull too, and it's a fun movie, guys. If you have not <laughs> watched it yet, I highly recommend going to the theater and go watch it. Even if you have to go on a what you call this movie day where the tickets cheap, do so because it's worth the watch. Uh, I I remember one thing in the theaters where um, I think I was the only one that noticed it is when that pool was talking or complaining about um, who the hell created cable kind of thing, and he said that oh who the hell created cable? But the artist is a terrible guy. He couldn't even draw feet right, and I was the only one laughing in the theaters at that reference slash joke. And for you guys who don't know what. That pool is saying with that one, it's a reference to his creator Rob Liefeld, 
and Rob Liefeld is notorious for bad drawings of characters with feet and pockets full of pockets and pouches. If you want to to go see some of his work just google Rob Liefeld Captain America and it is one of the most infamous drawing of Cap ever and there's a character in Deadpool 2 named Vanisher you remember him right? <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to spoil it all, but, the, but it's too priceless oh yeah yeah who we, who, okay there's a uh, about uh, who's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna see this <laughs> there is a invisible guy named Vanisher. Um, he's invisible, obviously, but there's a small short scene where they reveal who he is. So keep your eye out on that one because you are going to be wow at who he is. Yes, um, he's truly a truly a megastar. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for the moment when we talk about this movie. This movie is a good one. Absolutely. I, I, I think I, I think two weeks is usually a good uh, good healthy healthy time to and if any if anyone hasn't watched it after two weeks, I where are you going? Mm, Seriously. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? Um <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, personally for me, uh, I will be talking about this movie in the year and uh, movie review that we always do. Uh, do check out Fantastic. last year's thing where we talk about the movie of 2017. It was pretty fun. Um, I think... Mm, what did I watch? Pacific Rim? What, was it last year or this year? Pacific Rim is this year now. Um, a lot of movies last year. Um, this year's going to be awesome too. I've been listing the movies that I watch. So yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Um, let's see. Other... Hmm? I mean, this definitely going to be a couple of highlights. You know, Avengers Infinity Wars Part One, oh, Deadpool Two, and yeah. that list. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking. I'm look, and the, the next movie I'm looking forward to is Incredibles Two. The story oh, yeah. looks so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, don't forget Black Panther. Black Panther is also another good one. <gasps> oh my gosh! I and it was like, oh, finally, a movie that takes place and other in another place other than New York and any other city it's like <laughs> and it was so interesting and fresh and it was like it was like uh, you know Guardians of the Galaxy when that came out that was so fresh it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there are other there are other heroes in the Marvel Universe yeah. after all yeah yeah there's also <laughs> yeah, yeah. have you seen Ready Player One? <gasps> oh I was supposed to see it again thank you for reminding me oh, okay so, um, um, if you do go watch it it, it is a fun movie but to be honest, the book was better. <laughs> well, that's true. I, I hear there was a quite a bit of detail that, um, yeah, that didn't make the cuts. Oh, you, um, that, I mean, the movie and the book are two totally different entities. So, in a mm, sense, they are. They really are. So, in a sense, you get one title with two different content. So, yay. Hmm. And and you can only cram so much into a two hour time slot, really. Mm, true that. True. Um, the, and 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 from what I heard, that um, yeah, um, yeah, book adaptations. You know, they can really they, some can swim, but we've we've seen quite a few that have sunk as well. So I mean, well, um, other than Lord of the Rings, but man, those movies are long. I don't think I've and I actually haven't seen them since I saw them the first time. <laughs> But you know, I no, but you should. But uh, but I will say this: you certainly got your money's worth when seeing a Lord of the Rings movie at the cinemas. Let me tell you, uh, <laughs> not really. The DVD, the DVD. Oh, I oh, I have, I have not been brave enough to um, <laughs> to watch <Yeah. laughs> the DVD versions because um, I hear they're quite long. Yeah. yeah. Way longer. The DVD version with all the deleted, uh, yeah, the de deleted cut, uh, the extended cuts. So yeah, have fun mm. with that. <laughs> yeah, but still, uh, where was I? Yes, mm. things that I've been doing with my week. Um, besides that, um, it's the fasting month of Ramadan, so that's been taking up my time too. So we'll see how that goes. It's been what a uh, week one mm. as for now. 
So yeah, got Ooh, three more how, weeks. How many? Ah, oh, three more weeks. Oh. I think it's weeks. So I take I take it. So 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 you're full. You're full on fast mode. Uh, the thing is, um, we f- start fasting at sun, um, uh, sunrise to sunset, and mm-hmm. it's not that bad, really. People think, oh, how could you, um, stand it? In all honesty, it's not that big of a deal. You just don't eat between, uh, let's just say, five thirty to seven something like that. So it's not that bad. Like, mm. just consider it as a diet. You know, you're gonna take shape. You know, you're gonna keep your figure and whatnot. You just consider that. And the best part about um, this is, is all the um, street food or the vendors, street vendors that sell all the awesome food that you don't get on a regular basis. So that's a bonus. Oh, I see. So you eat nothing all day, and then at night, that's when you go to town, eh? Kind of. You you kind of you, you kind of you don't want to overstuff yourself because if you get too full and, and so on, uh, and, everything... and then you pay for it the next day, like I did uh, when I had uh, Macca's um, McDonald's the Friday night, and then I had my PT session oh, that, on Saturday morning. Uh, um... <laughs> oh yes, I definitely had the splits, and let me tell you. Doing weights is quite hard after, you know, um, a Macca's run the night before. So <laughs> I don't recommend it. But however, the Macca's was good at the time. <laughs> I know, I know. Ah, but still, <laughs> what else have I been doing? Um, You know, nothing much. Like, I'm trying to remember what else. And that's the thing. Uh, besides the gaming and stuff, nothing much. Mm. So... Yeah, what's on the game scene? What's on the gaming scene? Mm, gaming scene. Um... Besides Overwatch, I think that's about it, mm-hmm. really. Overwatch has been eating up most of my time. I did bought God of War. I haven't popped it in, so that's going to oh, be yeah, so there. Yeah. Mm, waiting for the right moment yeah. to, to launch it. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, it's one of those things where Dead of War seems like a fun game. I should play it, but I don't have the time. I spend time editing podcasts and stuff. <laughs> that's true you, you kind of you, you, you have to make a choice you can either yeah it's a tricky one and um i mean uh, and i'm and i'm so glad <laughs> sounds kind of bad but i'm so glad you make it the show <laughs> it, um, it, it's, okay, yeah. it's okay i, I, um, I learned to live with yeah. the imperfections of the show because yes. if you're a perfectionist too much of perfectionist the show is going to take longer than it is so I learned to let it go at points, so it sounds more natural, it sounds more fun, it's, you know, one of those things where it's entertaining, and I don't know. That, remi- yeah, that reminds me of a certain show that I used to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember you telling yeah. me that, oh my god, this is so long, I'm, and then, like, oh, the editing is like, oh, and I just say, like, what are you doing? Like, wh- why so long? And you said it has to be perfect. And in my mind, uh, yeah, I, I used to do that too until I became um, quote-unquote lazy and let it go with the flow. And I found more fun in that way. <laughs> you know what, Norman, I don't think it's lazy. I think it's smart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Work They're smart. Work smart. smart, they say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, and, and for those who don't, don't know of God of War, um, the main character is voiced by Christopher Judge from Stargate SG-1, Teal'c. Oh, really? But you wouldn't. He is. I know. And he's, and you know, he's he's a little bit older now, and you wouldn't really tell until you see the, you know, the shot by, you know, the scene and stuff. The the voice act, yeah, voice actor comparison. It's like, oh my oh, god, it's have you. you so, um, yeah. have you seen um, a video on the YouTube's um, the actor who plays Kratos for the new God of War doing that jokes? I have not. Okay, I, I, need I, to must fi- see I need to find it and link it to you because that was awesome. <laughs> I think it was from Polygon. Uh, but still, um, that's been my week. So let's see. Um, open script. <laughs> uh, yes, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can do so at the mbsshow.gmail.com. You can uh, also tweet the show. The show is at the MBS show. And as for me, I'm at Norman Sanzo. So, Lucky, where can the good people find you? Oh, the good people find me. So the best place to find me is on YouTube, actually, because that's where the brony house will live. 
for now on the I'm Brony and I'm Proud YouTube channel. Um, but of course, um, if you use the, if it's, um, if you want us on, to find us on Facebook or Twitter, it's at IBAIP show. And if you want to revisit past episodes of I'm Brian, I was about to say I'm Brownie. Oh my goodness. I, oh my goodness. I stuffed myself up. I, the, I, I'm Brony. I'm, I'm proud. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with being brown. Most horses are. And, um, you can, you can, um, you can, you can, um, follow those episodes on that uh, SoundCloud where they, where they live, and I continued to pay the annual subscription for. for so please listen to them. I'm paying, <laughs> paying for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah, and uh, but of course the episodes live on YouTube as well. So, um, but yeah, but um, if you if for anyone who's been following, you know, I'm Bernie and I'm proud for a while. Um, it. <sighs> It's now the it's Brony House, baby. It's all about the Brony House or hostel or hotel <laughs> or some kind of dwelling. <laughs> and and um, um, look out for the upcoming episode as soon as I uh, finish editing it, which will hopefully hopefully I just you know get down and dirty and get it done. And um, not 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 not, not in a bad way. <laughs> um, not in a, not in an after dark way or bad dragon way. <laughs> but um, so. Um, uh, the, um, the pilot episode will be coming out soon. So, so watch out for it. And, um, if, um, my co-host Midnight Scribe is on it and, uh, we managed to ring in a couple of Australian bronies, a bit of, um, uh, almost like a bit of vintage I'm brony and I'm proud the way it started. So, um, nice. keep an eye out for it. Nice. Nice. You know, I'm lucky there's a tip that I can give you, but I'm not hundred percent sure if you want to use it, but record everything as though it's live that way, you don't really need to mm. edit it. <laughs> and you know what? We actually did. Ah, so, so the yes. editing here is just yeah. for music. Although, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, um, um, and I guess it was, it was weird because, and when we did the live version at Horses at Home Con, mm -hmm. it, it was, it was such a, it was a totally different dynamic as well because, like, because we had the audience and everything and we had this tight time slot and we had to, you know, get all out in one go. And, um, um, I tell her when that didn't happen, it's like, Oh wow. The, the feels so much is missing. I, I know. I understand. Like so, I, um, when I was yeah. on, I felt that, okay, uh, we had X time slot, so we couldn't really mm. do much. So, okay. Mm. We need to, uh, go in fast and quick. Like, okay, go in. Oh, there's derps. You know what? Don't care. Let's just go roll it. We roll with it. <laughs> and then suddenly Indeed. we're near the end slot. You fell off the grid. And like, uh, what now? <laughs> I don't know how that happened because I was still on the call. <laughs> um, my icon was still flashing like I was there, but my voice was not being transmitted. <laughs> and, 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 um, and thank goodness for the, for, for the crew and the players for like, so, um, why are we waiting for Lucky to come back? <laughs> because he's <laughs> almost and, and I could hear everything and I was, I even, I was shouting, I was like, oh my God. And, and, and fortunately they, they continue on the show and they did behave themselves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the most, for the most part. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, so there you go. So, but it was a lot of fun and, um, I, uh, I want to, you know, bring, you know, bring the brony back, I guess, mm -hmm. so to speak. So, so yeah, so, but, um, and, but as we mentioned, um, in the show, in the show news that the hiatus is coming, but, there's brony content everywhere you can to put your hoof to. True so have no that, fear. True that, true that. So anyway, um, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and don't forget to press that bell icon to stay up to date and switch your radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the other show we have, which is the Ambition Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and switch your radio. Over there, you get me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, talking about the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to talk about other things, like other shows. For example, The Miraculous Ladybug, movies like Batman, The Kidding Joke, we did that once. And discussions on themes. I forgot. I'm not really good with themes. But I do remember a lot of Ladybugs because it always makes... Silver and Seppi go crazy. So, yay. Um, future. Uh, here's a spoiler. 
we're going to do more Ladybug episode because I like it and hearing those two go crazy over it, not in a good way, they, they go nuts because they think, you know, stuff. So anyway, yeah, that, more, more of that in the future. <laughs> Uh, excellent, excellent. And I believe you have a Patreon, Norman. Ah, true, that. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank you for the and the in Mark, Charles, Tula Knight, and also Tristan. Oh my god, what a shout out! Oh my god! That's me! Yes, it is! <laughs> so anyway, I have been on the I am lucky enough to continue to be to infinity and beyond! He doesn't care, fight is coming soon. <laughs> well, let's watch whatever we want. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we'll see you guys next week. See ya! Bye! <laughs>